Yeah, so last week we, and the week before actually, we covered from under 16s all the way up to our under 19s. So regional trials, um, and like I said, this week's very much around finalising those squads through our final trial system. Since our, I guess, October was really when our, our winter RDS programme started. So we've been able to have a look at them through our um, club select player programme as well, uh, from our under 16s and under 19s. So we've been able to see them specifically over the last kind of, you know, six, seven months. In terms of our schools, this is really the first time we've had them back in our program, so it's been great to get them back and get a look at how they've, they've been going. Uh, but obviously, we've been able to watch a lot of the Junior Cup Rugby, uh, the McCarthy Cup Rugby, but also obviously our Senior Cup Rugby as well, which uh, we've been able to very much identify the talent that's coming through our pathway. Yeah, we're quite lucky with our coach and player development officers and obviously our rugby development officers as well as our our CCRO network um, and right throughout our pathway, our national talent coaches, our provincial talent coaches, we're able to see right across our province and especially in this last kind of three, four months we've been made a really big push uh, to be able to really get out and watch games, watch footage and really make sure we do our homework when it comes to our, our pathway players. Yeah, so after this week our Easter program um, finishes and then we make our final selection for our 30-man uh, Interpro squads uh, from our under-16s right through to our under-19s. Um, from our under-17s to 19s, they'll come in uh, three days a week or three nights a week um, for our SNC program uh, with our athletic development coaches within our regions. So being able to learn, obviously, around you know pillars like nutrition and strength and conditioning, you know, mental skills. Uh, all that's going to be covered across our summer program, but once we really get into the nuts and bolts of our residential, uh, I think it's a great learning, great opportunity for growth uh, for these young players coming through. Yeah, we're really proud of, of all, the, all the young players that have uh, been selected for those uh, national squads. You know, it kind of just goes to show the work that's been done in and around our, our program um, and the work that's been, that, that doesn't always get seen as well. So it's, it's great for our province and again, it's good for the up and coming players that are coming through as well, that they can aspire to obviously play for Munster but also for our national age grade and beyond.